First of all, stand up nice and tall, bend your knees, and let's work on the waist for the sides of the waistline, the oblique muscles, so we get a nice figure. Side to side, side and side. Make sure your hips stay stable and you're using the waistline. That's it. Rib cage, side to side. Tighten up those tummy muscles, the abdominals. You'll have a nice rock hard tummy. This is an isolation exercise. That's it. Two more. One. Two. Now really reach it side, side. That's it. Working on the inches off the sides of the waistline. We'll get rid of an inch in six weeks if you do it with me every day. Two more. Come on, really feel it. Now one arm presses, presses. Good. Really work on the waist. Bend at the waistline. You got it. Get up on your feet with me and do this. You do want a nice waistline, don't you? That's it. Two more. One. Two. And relax. Working on the chest. That's it. Pull it across. Good. And across the chest. Initiate this movement right here. It's all the work right here in the chest. That's it. Pull, out, pull, out. Two more. Come on, really get into it. Really use it. Great. Two more. One, two. Now hold it there to the side and work on the triceps. Twist. Good. Make sure that your elbow is up high as you can. That's it. Working on the triceps, the area we all need extra help because it's an underused muscle of the body. That's it. No more flabby arms, come on. We'll firm it right up. If you're advanced, this is a great place to get your weights. Make sure you start out small. One to three pounds in each hand. If you're advanced, you can do about five pounds in each hand. Then you'll really see results. But you don't have to have weights. I don't. I really resist and use the muscle, not momentum. Two more. Here we go. Press it. That's it. One more. Hold it up there. Isometric hold. Great. Okay. Now with the other arm. Bring it across and out. Side. Open. Side. And open. Across the body. That's it. Pull it. Really feel it right here. Good. That's it. This will help improve your posture. That's great. Two more. Pull it hard. Come on. Really feel it. That's one. Hold it. Great. Okay, now let's work on those triceps. Elbow is up as high as you can. And pull and reach. Really feel as though your elbow is up really high and you're really feeling that muscle work, the triceps. That's it. Pull it up as high as you can. Come on, use that muscle. Come on, you can do it. It's worth having nice arms. You can wear those sleeveless blouses, shirts. Two more, come on, really use it. Extend the elbow, that's it. The extension of the elbow is contracting the muscle to work. The opposing muscle group here are the biceps. They're in front of the arm. We're now working on the triceps. That's it. Two more. Come on, give it all you've got right here. Full on effort. Last one. Hold it up. Now, little lift. Isometric hold. Lift it up as high as you can. Higher, higher. Can you feel it? This is working a little different muscle group right here. This is working the long head of the medial shoulder muscle, the deltoid. That's it. Okay, shake it out. Let's work the upper arms down and lift. This is also working the upper back, the trapezius muscle and the latissimus dorsi. If you think about the muscle that you're working, you'll be able to see better results. Right now, you're trying to contract the upper body. That's it. Pull, up, ah, pull. Think about where your bra is in the back. If you're a woman, if not, 
a man, make sure you're using those muscles. Pull them down. That's it. Your elbows touch your waist. You're doing it correctly. That's it. Really use it. Pull it down. Show your muscles. Give it all you've got. Come on. All it is is a half an hour to work out. So you got to give everything you have to this half an hour. And it's enough. That's all I do to work out. But I do it every day. And that's the key. Consistency. That's right. Two more. One. And two. Okay. Lift it up and down. Lift and lower. This is working the chest muscles and the upper back. A little rhomboid. The rhomboids are in the upper part of your back. That's it. Lift and lower, lift, lower. They are actually between your shoulder blades. That's it. And the upper part of the shoulders. Little anatomy class here. Working the entire upper body. That's right, so you have a nice balanced body. A little more shapely. Good, and no flab. That's the key, toning the body. That's why I call this my trim and tone segment. We strengthen all the muscles of the body from head to toe. But you have to join me each weekday because I use different body parts. Some days tummy, some days legs. That's it, two more, we got last one. Give it all you've got, okay, and shake it out. Pull, lift and pull, good. This is adding waistline and arms, good. And reach. And over. Keep your tummy in. Come on. We all have to be reminded. Good. The other side. A little more waistline work. Come on. Pull it. Give it all you've got. Two more. We have to do two more. Come on. One. Last one. Two. Beginning our cool down. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale. Inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. And when you exhale, really let it out. One last deep breath, inhale. Oh, it feels so good. The hard part's over. Now it's time to relax and stretch the body. Stretching the sides of our waistline. After a workout, you want to make sure you elongate the muscle because we did strengthen it and contract the muscle. And now we're strengthening it, elongating it for better flexibility. Lift up and over, hold. Now your stomach should be real tight and your back should be straight. Don't let it sag out. It's very common to just let it hang. And you don't want to do that. Hold, smile, you did it. So proud of you. Now, if you sat on that couch, you better join me on the next getting fit. That's it. Hold the stretch. Beautiful. And let's stretch out the arms. Just come on up. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing so well. That's it. Back should be straight. Relaxing your neck. And to the other side, relax your neck.